Lieutenant Commander Gideon Yashim Gwaza was a base operations officer of the Nigerian Navy forward in Boni, who tragically lost his life during a rescue operation in River State. The well-trained combat diver until his death was a gallant officer who have distinguished himself as an achiever. The chief of naval staff and other top military brass were present to pay their final respect to a man described by his peers as a dedicated officer with an unwavering commitment to duty, which was evident in the circumstances leading to his death. He was a courageous officer, a man of integrity, a man of impeccable character, and above all, a professional to the core. This was evident in the various assignments he performed while in the service, and also in the various courses and trainings that he passed through in the service, where he always came out as number one. A tragic event which led to the death of Washington Gwaza occurred on July 30, 2024, when he led a rescue mission to save 59 individuals trapped on a dredging vessel. While the rescue operation was successful, unfortunately, Lieutenant Guaza could not make it alive, losing his life in the line of duty. Guasca died in the service, not only to the Nigerian Navy, but in the service to humanity. Because the assignment which he was given that day was to go and rescue a merchant vessel that was in distress and was about to sink. I received that information of distress call from the company that a vessel is about sinking with 59 crew men, crew members on board. Late Lieutenant Commander Gideon Yashim Gwaza distinguished himself as a patriotic and dedicated professional. He was loyal, disciplined, articulate, humble, and a reliable officer. Lieutenant Commander Gwaza's death has left a deep vacuum in the heart of many, including that of his beloved wife. Family, friends, and colleagues pay tribute to the deceased in glowing terms. Now that you're, you're no longer here, I pray God gives me the strength and all that I require to bring up this voice that you'll be proud of and you'll watch us from heaven and smile to a brave soldier that I was privileged to have as my husband. Fair winds and sailing seas. I love you, even in death. I can say this about this remarkable officer. He was dedicated. He was brave. He was very resourceful. For the one year Gideon served with me as my flag, I had not one moment, not, not one, one day. day. I did not have one day a moment to check his work, his attitude, or his character. Gideon is an officer of great comportment and courageous. His uncommon courage was symbolic of the Kandu spirit. The courage was stretched to save others. And that is what we saw today, or what we are witnessing this morning. As a custom, the funeral service was marked by a 21-gun salute, a final military honor to a man who served his country with distinction. And thereafter, the late Guaza was finally committed to Mother Earth. Lieutenant Guaza's death is not a loss only to the Nigerian Navy, but also to the nation. Guaza was a promising officer eagerly anticipating his promotion to the rank of commander in September 2024, a recognition for his dedication and service to the nation. He will not only be remembered as a hero who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, but his legacy of bravery and commitment to duty will continue to inspire those who serve. Frank Omalape, Arise News.